Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Jamie Heisey, and I'm the Global Partner Manager here at Interica. Today, I'm joined by my colleague, Jenny. Hi there, I'm Jenny Marr. I work in the Professional Services team as Senior Engineer here at Interica. And we're both excited to be joined by two colleagues, Dhruv and Dimitri from Interica's partner, Amazon Web Services. Hi, my name is Dhruv Vashisht, and I'm Senior Partner Solutions Architect with AWS. Hello, my name is Dimitri Kishichkin. I'm the Partner Technical Lead for Energy Vertical with Amazon Web Services. Today, we'll be providing a short overview of some of the new capabilities that Interica and AWS have been working on, primarily focused around integration with the OSDU data platform. Over the past two years, we've been building our new technology platform, Interica OneView, from the ground up. Interica OneView has been designed to automatically discover and scan petrotechnical projects and data sets wherever they may be. We currently support in excess of 35 petrotechnical applications and data types. Once scanned, IOV is able to dynamically harvest and liberate metadata and spatial data from the application and store this in a normalized data model. Users can then access this model through the Interica OneView UI or through powerful open APIs to analyze their data sets. Interica OneView incorporates the PARS data movement technology, enabling users to migrate or archive data to and from a variety of storage environments, including to low-cost AWS S3 storage tiers. This can be automated using the powerful Arbor policy engine. Finally, Interica OneView can be utilized to support your ongoing data governance policies, ensuring the right data is always available. I want to now summarize our new integration with the OSDU before passing over to our colleagues at AWS. Today in the subsurface world, we typically use a mixed portfolio of applications to support many varied workflows as we move from prospect identification and data acquisition through to building static and then dynamic reservoir models. These applications often take data from a range of siloed databases or store data in proprietary formats that can't easily be exchanged between different applications. This leads to a lot of data duplication often loss of data lineage and difficulties to quickly ascertain what we have, what its quality is, and if it can be used in the application I'm working with. The OSDU data platform is looking to change this by offering one open source data platform to manage all master and reference data, where applications can easily search, access, and leverage this data from one system with a common API interface, irrespective of where the data platform is located. This is a big opportunity and also a big task at Interica, we want to support our customers as they migrate to the OSDU by making it easy to discover, analyze, and act across both legacy environments and new OSDU instances. Working with AWS, we have developed the first phase of integration with the OSDU. You can now search and discover data stored in petrotechnical applications and compare and contrast this with data stored in an OSDU tenant. Before Jenny demonstrates this, I'd like to hand over to Dimitri from AWS to talk more about the architecture that supports this. Thanks, Jamie. We worked together with Enterica team to demonstrate how OneView enables data workflow of running traditional geoscience applications on OSDU and AWS Cloud. For this, we chose Petrel as the most popular application. And on the left side of the slide, you see the AWS Cloud on top and on-premises environment on the bottom. We chose several important components in the cloud that power this architecture. First, Amazon AppStream, fully managed application and desktop streaming service. Second, FSx for Windows, provides fully managed, reliable and scalable file storage that is accessible over industry standard Windows SMB protocol. Third, Amazon Elastic Compute that powers Enterica OneView application. This architecture provides most flexibility for the business because it will let you combine seismic and project metadata from on-premise AWS Cloud and OSDU. You can load interpretation projects from OSDU to Petrel, prepare and share geoscience interpretation-ready workstations in minutes. As you work in Petrel and save projects, OneView agent in background detects changes and then one view Petrel and OSDU connectors both work in tandem to create a single source of truth view for the business. And with that, I pass to you, Drew, to talk about OSDU on AWS. Thank you, Dimitri. Interica's IOV is integrated with OSDU on AWS to seamlessly search and deliver data stored in OSDU and making it available to end customers through IOV platform. 
OST on AWS is inherently secure and is differentiated because of the seamless integration and robustness of the AWS cloud services built on the AWS well-architected framework pillars, and those are operational excellence. OSG on AWS provides a single-click deployment into your AWS environment, so you spend less time managing resources and more time focusing on delivering value. Security. Security is job zero at AWS. OSG on AWS is inherently secure. Data is encrypted in transit and at rest, and authentication has been designed to integrate with your IDP. Reliability. OSDU on AWS has been built on core AWS managed services, including as shown in the diagram, Amazon API Gateway, Amazon S3, Amazon DynamoDB, and Amazon ECS and others. These services are designed to scale horizontally and recover automatically and provide industry leading availability and durability by leveraging multi-region and multi-AZ capability, providing superior reliability. Efficiency. OSDU on AWS has been designed to minimize the burden on IT by using serverless technologies and a services approach. Cost optimization. OSU on AWS supports lowest cost operation, both in terms of eliminating the heavy lifting from IT, but also in terms of the cost of services. With that, I'll hand it over to Jenny from Interga team for a short demo. Thank you. Thanks, Drew. My name's Jenny and I work at Interga as a senior engineer. On the screen in front of you, you can see the OneView interface. Currently, I have a search criteria to look for all projects which contain a 3D seismic survey by the name of ST0202R08. OneView and the connectors have scanned all of the project directories on-premise to locate all of the data which contains this seismic survey. This information is then displayed in the table. As you can see, we have discovered projects in PaleoScan, Petrel and Studio Seismic. If I scroll from left to right in the table, you can see all of the top level metadata that has been collected from these projects. This includes all of the far level statistical data as well as information on the seismic and well counts in the project. We also have details on the CRS and connector information, status and scan time. If I click on the map view, you can see that the project highlighted in the table is then displayed on the map. Currently, we are looking at data in the North Sea for the Vol field. If I click on the Data Explorer, you can see that this drills down through the entities that are available for the project. If I open the 3D surveys and click on the, on the particular survey, you'll see the information that's been collected for that survey. If I scroll into the volumes, you can see all of the metadata that's been collected for that seismic volume. In IOV, we can now analyze data on-premise in file storage in the cloud and now also in the OSDU. If I was to search for the particular survey, I can locate it across different projects. If I scroll down in the Data Explorer, you can see the wealth of metadata that is collected by these connectors for the projects. We can now see on the screen in front of you that the data for the two seismic surveys previously looked at in PaleoScan, Betrayal and Studio have now been loaded into the OSDU platform in Amazon Web Services. Again, we can investigate the metadata associated with this data in AWS. If we click on the map view, we can see again that this is over the Volve dataset and we can see the details on the map of the project. If we select the Data Explorer, we can scroll down and navigate through the metadata held on the survey. We can compare this against the data held on premise for each of the surveys. In addition, we can now download the data from OSDU onto our laptops in order to reload the original seismic files to other applications such as Petrel. Users can now load the seismic data from OSDU into their interpretation or modeling application, either directly or if supported through OneView download tools.
In this example, Petrella is running in the optimized AWS environment and accessible directly from the browser. We pull the seismic volume data from the OSDU into file storage in AWS and load the data directly into Petrel. Once the data has been loaded, the user can complete their interpretation of the seismic data, picking any appropriate faults and horizons. When this work is done, we can save the project and Enterica OneView will rescan the patrol project in the background, making sure to capture any details about the new seismic which has been loaded, included any new interpreted faults and horizons. This Volve AWS project is now available in the live data. We can see the project on the right hand side on the map. If we scroll from left to right in the table, we can see the results of the interpretation, which has now been collected in the table. For example, there is increased count numbers of horizons and faults. If we want to look at this information in further detail, we can expand the Data Explorer. We can then scroll through and look at the metadata associated with any of the faults or horizons which has been collected. If we would like to go ahead to archive the data, we would then click on the Pause option at the left on the bottom. We now come through to the archive workflow. The default destination, as you can see, is S3 Storage. If we click on the Archive button, we will then have our application patrol to select. Here we pick the host name, and then we can select from our project. So the one that we want is the Volve AWS, and then we click Next. We can now check the status of the project is OK and then we can decide to continue with the archive. The next step is to add any relevant metadata to the archive that we want to include. Once we're happy with the metadata, we can then click Next. We can preview the job before this is run, or we can just decide to continue and run the archive job. Once the archive has completed, the status will turn to OK. And now we see we have a second archive in AWS. Finally, to summarise, Enterica OneView allows you to easily discover, analyse and act on data held across various applications within your company. This allows you to make decisions on that data, such as clean-up exercises and or move of data to other storage locations, such as disk or cloud destinations. Thank you. We are really excited about the integration possibilities with the OSDU data platform. We will shortly be releasing a new well log connector focused on automating migration of data from traditional environments to OSDU R3. Thanks again to AWS, and in particular, Drew and Dimitri, who we have been working very closely with throughout this integration effort. Thank you, Jamie. It has been an exciting journey with the Enterica team on OSDU integration. Looking forward to continue this partnership to explore other areas and work together to build market and co sell to create more value for our end customers. Thank you. Finally, if you would like to know more about Enterica OneView and our integration with AWS and the OSDU, please get in touch.